Good morning everyone, welcome to Grace for Today. It's Tuesday morning, delighted to be back here with you. I'm going to read to you this morning from day two of our devotional Father's Love Letter. I'm going to start with Psalm 139. I absolutely love these verses. It says, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. Or if you read it in the NIV, it says, oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. Now, I don't know about you, I don't know whether you're somebody who enjoys all the different seasons. At the minute, Andrew's a bit fed up because he doesn't like the winter, he hates that feeling of the, of the dark nights crowding in, but there's something that I love about at night when you just sit down, you close the curtains and you just put your feet up and you relax. And there's something about just feeling like, oh, that's it, that's the end of the day, that's the end of kind of all the interactions out there. And there's something about just that safety of being at home and just putting your feet up and just being yourself. And you know what? This, sometimes we go through life and we feel like we've got to put on a mask at times with people out there. Sometimes we feel like if people really knew, but there's something about that safety of just when the curtains are closed and you can just be yourself. But you know what? Today, God knows you. Even if you don't know him, he knows you. He knows everything about you. He knows how you were made, why you were made, and why you do the things that you do. Because he's created you and he's fashioned you, fashioned you in his extravagant love for eternal purposes. He doesn't want you to feel today that you have to put on a mask and you have to try and be someone to be accepted because he just looks at you and he loves you. You are his incredible creation. And you know, we've been having a bit of fun in our house because my son recently, he's very into drones and flying and he bought himself a new drone. And this drone came um, in hundreds of pieces and he's had to put it together himself. And he wouldn't be the best at, at that kind of technology type stuff. But you know, he's had to learn why every part matters. He's put it together sometimes and left wee bits out and then it hasn't worked. So he now knows in great detail why every single thing matters, why every single part of this thing is important. And that made me think, you know what? God spent so much time creating you. He spent so much time knitting you together in your mother's womb. Every single part of who you are, God knows it and he loves it. He celebrates the person that he's created you to be. Do you know what? He even knows every bump, every bruise. He knows every failure that you've walked through. He knows every fear that you have, every inadequacy, and every one of your dreams. And do you know what? He has put incredible desires into our hearts. He knows us through and through. And you know, for some of us that feels scary because we think about all the ugly bits, but you know what? He loves us unconditionally. And the thought of such intimacy with God, sometimes it makes us cringe because we think, God, how could you really love me? You know all of me, you know me completely. And we know from the story of Adam and Eve that they actually ran from God's presence when they realized that he saw them in their mess and their failure. But you know what? God is a God of love and mercy and he doesn't ever want us to run from him, but rather he wants us to run to him. Even when we do hide, we actually can't escape his loving gaze. Because you know what? Your father loves us intimately and he loves us with an everlasting love. Do you know what? His love for us is higher and deeper and wider than any love we've ever experienced in our entire lives. We can't really get our heads around the depth and the breadth and the length and the height of his love. It is beyond anything that we can actually imagine. But he wants us to magnify it. He wants us to think on it. He wants us to meditate on it. Because you know what? Our love on earth, it's usually conditional. It's based upon our performance. But that's not how God looks at us. God's love is not an earthly love. It's divine in nature. It's not based on our own sense of personal goodness, but rather on his goodness and mercy. Yes, you know, your, your father loves you and he loves you with all his heart. So today, let's celebrate that. Let's just remind ourselves we are children of God. We are loved by God. We are precious in his, in his eyes. So Jesus, I thank you that today that you know me, you know me completely and nothing about what I do disappoints you. You love me completely. When you look at me, you see Jesus. You see him dying there on the cross so that I am acceptable and perfect to you today. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Jesus, that I'm not conscious today. I'm not walking around today conscious of my sins, but I'm conscious of my righteousness because you laid down your life for me, that I today could be clothed in your righteousness. So remember, whatever you're doing today, Remember that you're righteous in God's eyes. Remember that he loves you 
as a loving father, he delights in you. He knows you completely. You don't need to hide from him. He wants you to run to him for everything. Hope you have a brilliant day today.